professional practitioner who uses scientific knowledge, mathematics, physics. Oh, why am I reading this? It's one of those bad ones. Hey there, this is Yosef here. I'm playing this new video and it's being uploaded to Stealth Gaming and I don't know why I'm telling you all this, but I'm, my game is all weird. I am playing here... Wait, no, turn off the jetpack. No, nothing's working. Game is glitching. Ah. Well, this is Space Engineers here for you and it's still a pre-alpha game, and I decided I'd do a let's play, and apparently the whole game doesn't like me now. Ah, there we go. Ah, I see what was going on. I was inside my d d d d pod, and it works, but I can't see anything in front of it. I wonder why. Hmm. So, the way this game works is you are a, a space astronaut, cosmonaut, yeah. Russian, huh? And it is your job to gather resources, scavenge, build newer, better ships, to avoid asteroids that are coming from the sun, because you know that makes logic, and build better stuff. So this game is quite similar to those who see... This, people might say it's quite similar to Minecraft and all those games, because you know it's all blocky, but I can tell you for sure, it is nothing like Minecraft. Discarding the fact that, you know, everything's made of blocks, but not everything's made of blocks. Not everything. Take my word for that. I don't know why I keep getting yellow blarbs whenever I try to, um, scav see, scavenge whenever I try to fly my ship, but as, let me describe something for you. This is the building, this is the inventory menu. Now, although all these blocks items are here, I don't have them all in my inventory. For example, let's say there is a small thruster. If I go for and decided to build a small thruster um, somewhere like right here, and see, you need steel plates. And the way this works is this is a list of all the items you can build, and you click on one. You make sure you have all the components on the side. It tells you how much you need, and you click. You make sure you have it in your inventory. Now, to access your inventory, I click I, and this is all the thing right here. Now let's not get to how the game works, because I'm not going to teach you how to do anything, because I'm not that nice. So, I need to take away the window in front of my ship. Maybe that's what's blocking me from looking. Alright, so that should do something. If it doesn't, then I'm... Um, yeah, I don't know. Alright, why... Oh, I see! I'm such an idiot. My camera was zoomed in. So, now, is my job to find an asteroid and I need to find an asteroid like for example this is an asteroid that's an asteroid this is just background and let's see here there are huh, I'm trying to find a good asteroid all right so I guess I'm just gonna be going to either that or that Although I did, I was hoping for a uh, donut, because, you know, the game likes donut asteroids. <sighs> I'll probably try to find one after this game. Well, not after this game, but later on in this game. And I'm increasing speed. I turn off inertia dampeners. Now, inertia dampeners, think of it as a gyroscope. You have a gyroscope on your ship. Now, when you turn it on, your ship wants to stop. If you turn it off, your ship keeps going. Although, that's not how it works. In this game, it... it thrusts you the other way and makes sure you stop. So like, see, I have inertia dampeners off. I'll keep going. My, seeps, my speed's not decreasing. If I turn it on, it'll start to slow me down and provide anti-thrust power. So, one thing I need to make sure is the sun. Be aware of the almighty sun. It is dangerous for you. It causes issues. Where is the sun anyways? I cannot find the sun. The sun hates me now. Great. The sun doesn't want to like me. Ah, <sighs> come on, sun. Where? Ah, ah there, there is the sun. So let me go to that, because that's a bigger asteroid. And I shall hide behind it, because asteroids come from the sun. Like flying asteroids, like meteor showers, except, you know, we're not in a planet. So it's not a meteor shower. 
Although I'd like it to be a meteor shower, because then I can name it a meteor shower and not have to worry about calling this, like, an asteroid, but it's a stationary asteroid, and other non-stationary asteroids come and hit a stationary asteroid, which doesn't make the stationary asteroid move, but it stops the... Yeah, yeah I think you get the point. So, <gasps> a giant hole! I found it. I have found love. I feel warm now. Um, oh, my... No. So, I need to get closer and stop next to wherever I'm going to stop and start collecting resources. And I need to slow down, get to where that hole was. I like holes. I don't see. Ah, it's above me. Do 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 Ah, 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 I bumped into my ship. All right. I can assure you, I am an excellent pilot. You can hire me. Hello, NASA. I'm here for you. Or maybe not. Yeah, NASA should never hire me. Hire me. Oh, and by the way, this is the gal. I'm calling this the Galactic Rock. No, no, ship's moving. All right. So, ship is still. I will go ahead and could go to control panel. All right, maybe not. Let me go to my nuclear reactor. So, see, I only have 0 0.07 um, uranium, which is not going to last me for very long if all my engines are on. So, all my engines are the small thrusters. I will go ahead and turn them off. And the gyroscopes should keep my ship uh, still as long as I am the one who's bumping into it. If any other ship bumps into it, then I am screwed. So, let's turn this off, off, off. So, all this is good. Uh, and I see I have a refinery here. Whenever I can collect ores, I just drop them in here. If I get it, a, and then they come up here, and then this is my cargo container, which I have construction components. No, that's my inventory. So I will empty my inventory, because as you remember, I took apart that window up there. Now, this is my medical station. As you can tell on the bottom left, there is a menu, sit standing, health, blah, blah, jetpack. So, one of the major things I have to watch out for is energy. If my energy goes too low, then I am screwed because I can no longer support my life support. Because that's how life works. You need life support to support your life support. Now, I need to go ahead and collect some iron. Is this iron? No, um, I should, um, digging in space is very bad. All right, so let me see. Is this, yes, this is iron. So I have, I will perform my magical digging power. All right, so I shall dig a hole, because that's how you dig in space. You have a giant hammer and just start digging, because that's how space digging works. So, the way I collect items is I, cl I click T, which is the default in this game. So I am holding T and digging. And digging till I... Oh, more iron. Great for me. I get to make iron stuff. Oh, you know what I should get? I know exactly what I... My plan in this game is to get some iron. Get an amazing fighter ship. And go take over all the other ships such as the private sailor right there those are cargo container ships which I can later on take care of and deal with in my treacherous ambitions against the military which I can't make any sense now not even I can understand my own wording uh, collect iron I am collecting this iron this is very boring isn't it yeah well nonetheless you guys get to watch what I'm doing and I get to bore you out this whole morning of mine. Well, it's a morning to me. It might be a night to you or whenever I'm going to be uploading this. Although I will most likely want to upload each video every Saturday. Because I have school and I have AP classes and I'm trying to get a GPA and I'm trying to have a life. Unlike all you other YouTubers who are just sitting there and be like, Oh yeah, look at me. I can click buttons. Yeah. I'll be like the guy who's in NASA, be like, ha-ha, I invented solar panels, ha-ha-ha. And then um, China's going to come and be like, please help me, our solar panels are broken. Again, we need your assistance. 
Come on. We almost made it to Planet Galactic Asteroid Menominstein. And we are going to cancel this. Galactic Monishman. Yes, that is the perfect name. Galactic Monishman. I enjoy the name Galactic Monishman because it allows you to monish your monishments in a donut. I am not quite in a donut, but it is close enough to a donut. It has a giant hole going right through it. So, where is my hole of iron? So, let's see here. I have 3,000 iron. That should do me well for now. Uh, oh, let me, here, let me get my welder, because, you know, you obviously don't start moving backward when you're welding the space. And fix my ship, because I bumped into some rocks. Alright, so now, I shall get to this side of my ship, and I shall get in here. Get in. Turn off jetpack, my gravity generator is doing the rest. Go to my refinery, place some FE phosphate incarnated. Or just iron. Ah, da -da 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 -da. Refining. I need to get some steel plates. So I'll click production. Well, see, uh, I get more and more and more. It increases, and you can't see it increase for now. Why isn't it increasing? Ah. Oh, it doesn't like to increase when I'm looking at it. Great. This game hates me. So now I can click on steel plates, and I get a bunch of steel plates. And it's not building anything for me. Let me get much steel plates to carry with me. I'll get a hundred. A hundred should do the job. Actually, uh, yeah. Yeah, this should do enough. Now, I want to create a station where my hole is. Because, you know, holes are amazing. Galactic hole. So, the way I create a station, you click, no. You click G, which is your whole, like, tool config and, like, building blocks. And you click new station. Now... Oh, this is sad. Alright, so let's just say my whole thing is like that. Now I need to add this right here. No. Uh, can I make it to the side? So I shall dig. Dig, dig, dig. I'm diggity dig. Dig, dig, dig. I'm diggity dig. Yeah! Diggity dig, dig. This shall be perfect. Like a nightingale in a sky with... Like a roaring nightingale! Ah, because that makes sense. If any of you don't know where that's from, that is from Shakespeare! Ha, ah, Shakespeare. We are reading... Uh, Midsummer's Nighting Dream or... Something of, su something of such sorts. Uh, I want to make my station as beautiful as a human can get. Here, let me just move this back here. No. I need steel plates to build this. Great! All my efforts into trying to get the right position and it asks me for steel plates. This game must hate me. I shall challenge my way through the hate of this game and I shall achieve my goals across the galaxy of Newton Fire. Newton Fire is the galaxy we currently stand in. It is the... F this galaxy is scrammed with emptiness and nothing but the human who can fly a ship. A fly a ship with such beauty no one has dared to object his powers. Unlike the dark Slicedar. Ha ha ha. I, I did not say Dark Vader. I said Slicedar. So do not mistake my choice of words. I am the dark Slicedar. Ha ha ha. Ignore my random blarbing. So, apparently, I'm going to need more than 64 steel blocks. Although, let's see. Alright, how about let's just keep it to this. I will go ahead and dig something right here. The magic power of digging, it is majestic. 
I need to add a... The reason I'm trying to get this so close to that is because I need to add a gravity generator, which... What about it I do? Alright, so I need to add a gravity generator. Alright, so the gravity generator is going to be right here. I will also need to add a nuclear reactor. For now, I can go ahead and see what I need to get a, grav get a nuclear reactor. First, a small nuclear reactor. I am uh, for large ship or station. I need 25 computers, 6 motors, 100 reactor components. Actually, before I get to all do all that stuff, I think I'm going to need to go dig more. Ah, the power of... the majestic power of digging. It is truly... Fence Matulus. Yeah. I thrusted my ship's components together. So... Ah, let's see here. This is my cockpit station. This is my cockpit station. If none of you understand my majestic powers... Oh. As you can tell, all my small thrust no, 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 small reactor can't go off. Small thrusters are off, which doesn't allow my ship to move, so I need to turn them all back on. And go ahead and thrust it back into that station. On. Uh, I need to get closer. Oh. Oh shoot. That was not that was not Oh snot Oh yeah, there is thruster damage in this game. Ooh. Ow, that hurts. Alright, so I shall lift up or go to the should do the job for now at least actually no maybe turn off all the small thrusters do 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 the magic power of dude do do the magic power of dude do do the magic awesome badass power of do 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 So I am wasting construction. Ah! Ah, my jetpack's on now. So as you can, as you saw earlier, my thing blarbed and broke, and I had uh, yeah. So I will need to see. Ah! No, my jetpack. I can walk into my ship now. Getting more energy, so my life support system. Doesn't stop support by support life support. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so let's see here. Um, I will need to get some nickel. Jetpack on. Turning on grinder. Ah, <laughs> well. See you guys next time on my channel of flarbling marbs of stealth gaming. And I will start, oh, yes, I will start digging, digging, and digging some nickel, silver, cobalt, platinum, iron, silver, did I say silver twice? Oh. Magnesium, and more magnesium, because you know magnesium's badass, and yes, me.
the Space Galactic Rock be with you. Whoa, asteroids are in. Ah, ah. 